a snake eating a dinosaur egg, a mysterious sea monster giving birth to something very strange. Fossilized animals have always fascinated us because they help us understand Earth's unusual past. Here are 15 animals caught frozen in time. Number 15. Sue the T-Rex In 1990, Sue Hendrickson made history when she found a record-breaking Tyrannosaurus rex fossil that was one of the largest, most complete, and best-preserved specimens ever discovered. To put this into perspective, before Sue's find, paleontologists had only ever discovered about 60% of a T-Rex fossil. However, this spectacular specimen was notable for being about 90% complete. Being about 12 meters long and is 4 meters tall when measured at her hip, it can still be viewed today at the Field Museum, which became its resting place after it was purchased by the institution in 1997 for a record price of $8.4 million. Number 14. Farm Discovery In 2015, a Michigan farmer was in for a shock when he found the remains of a woolly mammoth estimated to be between 10,000 and 15,000 years old. And of an average size for the species, this discovery occurred on the farmer's property, which is located just southwest of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Consequently, the farmer reported his findings to researchers from the University of Michigan, who soon came in to excavate the fossilized skeleton. Interestingly enough, upon further investigation, they went on to conclude that the specimen had not died of natural causes, but rather had been hunted by humans thousands of years ago. As a result, this fossil really is rather unique. Number 13. Backyard Discovery In 2015, a man and his two sons were digging a duck pond in their backyard in Lancashire, England, when they came upon a shocking discovery. This discovery was that of a skeleton that was embedded in the clay of their backyard. Originally, the father thought that they came across the body of a murder victim. Luckily, he soon realized that instead of a human, they had found an animal, and more precisely, a wolf. With the trio wasting no time reporting the skeleton, it turned out that it was not just a wolf, but a prehistoric wolf, and as such was believed to be around 10 to 20,000 years old. Number 12. Pregnant Sea Monster While finding a pregnant dinosaur certainly would be cool, in 2010, scientists actually got to make this a reality. That's because in April of that year, an expecting ichthyosaur was found in Yorkshire, England. Discovered inside of a boulder, it had a total of eight embryos inside of it, with many experts believing that these were the sea monster's unborn babies. Now in the private collection of Martin Rigby, who had himself contacted the University of Manchester when he initially spotted the dinosaur babies within the skeleton, the four-inch embryos and their mother have since been put on display at the Yorkshire Museum. Number 11. Dino Deathmatch Dinosaurs certainly are feisty animals, and in 1971, paleontologists saw this firsthand when they discovered fossils depicting a dino deathmatch. Found in Mongolia, the two specimens were a velociraptor and a protoceratops, with the velociraptor, which is a carnivore, being found with one of his claws locked into the protoceratops carotid artery, which should have killed it. Meanwhile, the protoceratops, a herbivore, was defending itself from the velociraptor by wrapping its jaw around its attacker's arm. Regardless, it's believed that both met their demise not from each other, but rather when a falling landmass struck them and did away with them both. Now eternally locked in combat, it is likely that we will not ever see such a fossil display ever again. Number 10. Mummified Dog While Egyptian cats of years past are generally the only mummified animals we found, in 2002, a mummified dog found in the U.S. state of Georgia completely shook this narrative. Found inside a hollow tree trunk by loggers from the Kraft Corporation, it was likely that he was chasing an animal such as a squirrel or raccoon when he fell into the trunk and got stuck within. Upon further investigation, it was found that the dog, who was aptly named Stucky, was a hunting dog that had gone missing in 1980, meaning that he had been stuck in the tree for over 20 years. Now, experts believe that the dog was mummified in the tree due to a combination of factors, which included the fact that the tree's chimney-like effect helped rid it of its dead animal scent that would have attracted other organisms and the fact that the tree had relatively dry conditions due to its tannic acid, which helped absorb the dog's moisture and harden its skin, stopping it from decaying and thus preserving it. Interestingly enough, if you're the type that has a morbid fascination with the dog, you may be happy to know that it can still be seen today at the Southern Forest World Museum and Environmental Center in Waycross, Georgia. Number 9. Ancient Sperm While sperm isn't typically the first thing that paleontologists keep an eye out for, it has occasionally been found in animals fossilized under the Arctic or Antarctic ice. Now to date, the oldest ever recorded sperm that's been discovered is about 50 million years old, 
with it being found within an annelid cocoon that was located in the Antarctic Peninsula. Researchers determined that the sperm inside the cocoon came from a clytolate, or collared worm, which had released the sperm and eggs into said cocoon in order to keep them untouched until their offspring emerged. It should come as no surprise that the preservation was made possible by the cocoon itself, as it gave a protective shell that allowed the egg and sperm to remain intact until its discovery. Yet the sperm is invisible to the naked eye, as only after using a microscope were paleontologists able to find this historic sample. Regardless, it stands apart against the previous record holder, which was a springtail sperm found inside a Baltic amber by about 40 million years. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Northwest Passage Find While all the fossils on this list have been of animals or prehistoric creatures, in 2014 and 2016, a ship following the Arctic Trail of Sir John Franklin's Northwest Passage made a much more disturbing discovery. This journey, which had been undertaken in order to find the lost ships from Sir John Franklin's voyage, was a major success, with the ships being found about 11 meters below the remote Victoria Strait near King William Island. The discovery has been described as one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of the century, as both the HMS Erebus, which was found in 2014, and the HMS Terror, which was found in 2016, were recovered after having last been seen in Baffin Bay in 1845. Yet beyond just the ships, incredibly, the remains of the sailors were also discovered. And despite exposure to oxygen making some of the bodies unsalvageable, due to most being found well-preserved and almost fossilized in the permafrost ice, many were in fair enough condition for themselves to be analyzed for their possible cause of death. Thus, after running extensive tests, researchers found that the sailors most likely died of lead poisoning, which occurred thanks to lead contaminating the food with the tin cans they ate from. Regardless, despite the incredible misfortune surrounding this discovery, it certainly was pretty cool. Number 7. Preserved Like a Statue In March 2011, Canadian miner Sean Funk made history when he discovered a 110 million year old creature known as a Borelo Pelta, found in an oil and quarry deposit known as the Millennium Mine in northern Alberta, Canada. The Borelo Pelta took about two long weeks of intensive 12 hour per day labor to uncover and when discovered it was especially notable due to its skin being almost perfectly intact. Although being underground has given it a black color with okra spots, researchers believe that this skin could be the key to uncovering the true color of the dinosaur. Now, to put it into perspective how large this creature was, it must first be understood that the boreal pelta was a type of ankylosaur, which means that it came from a group of heavyset, low-slung, tank-like dinos. Weighing about 1.5 tons and being about 6 meters from head to tail, it resided on land and likely would have been a fearsome beast to come across. And while no one knows for certain exactly how it died, given that it was found belly up, it's believed that it likely drowned either thanks to a freak wave from a beach or due to a swimming trip gone wrong. Regardless, if you'd like to view this fossil today, it can be seen at the Royal Tyrell Museum in Alberta, Canada. Number 6. Snake Eating a Dinosaur a dinosaur having dinner is certainly not a sight that paleontologists come across every day, but in 1986 that's precisely what occurred in Gurujat, India. That's because it was here that a 3.5 meter long fossilized snake known as a Sanajay indicus was found eating a freshly hatched sauropod egg. It's believed that the snake was raiding the nest due to the hatching of the eggs, as its relatively small mouth made it unable to swallow the eggs whole, but rather led it to being forced to wrap itself around the eggs, waiting for the baby sauropod to emerge. Interestingly, unlike most modern mothers, sauropods are not very protective of their eggs and would instead leave them unattended, thus allowing the situation to occur in the first place. Regardless, it turns out that neither the snake nor the sauropod led to each other's demise, as it was in fact a landslide that buried the creatures in their state for eternity, causing the snake to be frozen in time while just about to gorge itself on the half-meter-long hatchling. Number 5. Weird Evolution in 2018, two dinosaurs found in China made headlines when they ended up exposing a lost chapter in evolutionary history, referred to as, quote, weird animals, by Professor Ona Chonier of the University of Witzwaterrand in South Africa. The two fossils found were that of an Alvarosaurus. Now, the reason why they were considered weird is that due to the Alvarosaurus being an animal that, while starting out its existence as a traditional carnivore, eventually evolved to a creature that primarily feasted on bugs. Unsurprisingly, this transition led to many evolutionary changes. For one, the dinosaur began to resemble an anteater, losing its size, growing shorter arms, developing a single large claw, and losing its teeth. However, according to the Chonier's co-author Robert Benson from Oxford, 
Quote, the new fossils from China have long arms and show that the Alvarezsaurus evolved short arms only later in their evolutionary history, in species with small body sizes. This is quite different to what happens in the classic example of Tyrannosaurs, which have short arms and giant size. Unsurprisingly, due to the dinosaurs' changing appearance, there has been controversy over their history, where they originated and where they belong on the evolutionary tree. However, as more fossils of this dinosaur appeared, hopefully all of the various researchers will come to a consensus. Number 4. Fossil Fishing When visiting his hometown of Katsuyama, Japan, postdoctoral researcher Nobuaki Mizumoto discovered a fossil that is unlike any others found to date. That's because what he unearthed was not a single specimen, but rather an entire school of fish. These fish belong to a now extinct species known as Epnoteris livatu and lived in the Green River Formation about 50 million years ago. Upon his discovery, he became intrigued by the potential of collective behavior displayed in the fossil. As despite the fossil being frozen in time, it depicted the coordination and cooperation that is typical of a school of fish. Now, the first question Mizumoto had was whether or not the fish were still in the position they had died in. So after partnering with a fish fossil specialist based in Japan, the two were able to chart the position and heading direction of each individual fish. To their amazement, the fossilized fish seemed to be following the two cardinal rules of modern fish, repulsion from close neighbors and attraction to more distant fish. In short, it appeared the position of the fish hadn't been random, which means that they were still in said position that they had died in. This then led to a second and perhaps more interesting question. How had these fish died? In response, Lance Grande, the curator at the Field Museum and an expert on fish fossils in the Green River Formation, has suggested that the fish may have died en masse by a volcanic eruption or oxygen-depleted water, perhaps brought upon by a dramatic temperature shift. However, he remains unconvinced that the fish were in the position that they had died in. Divergently, Mizumoto and his team have another theory. The sudden collapse of a sand dune, as this would account for the positioning of the fish in the fossil. Regardless, it's probably best to take their opinions with a grain of salt, as Mizumoto isn't a paleontologist and Grande isn't a geologist. Thus, the truth of the matter is that anything is possible with this fossil. Number 3. Oil Saurus In 2011, the oil-rich town of Fort McMurray, Canada was in for a shock when they found a dinosaur located under its oil sands. The discovery was initiated when some local oil rig workers noticed that the rocks they were working on were weirdly shaped and much harder than usual. In the end, the reason for this was because they were not working on regular rocks, but rather atop a fossil-filled deposit. Once examined further, the accidental discovery led to the excavation of a nodosaur, which was the first ever discovery of this impressive dinosaur. And considering that its bones alone came in at a weight of about 7 tons, this skeleton, which is now at display at the Royal Tyrell Museum in Drumheller, Alberta, certainly is impressive. What's interesting about these skeletons is that complete or near-complete specimens of dinosaurs are extremely rare. In addition to this, bones will often be flattened or cracked, making them as inaccurate representations of what they would truly look like. Yet this notosaur was unique, as it's not only almost completely intact, but also has bones that are in near-perfect condition. This was likely due to the geography of the region about 116 million years ago, as the flatness and near-complete water cover of what has become Fort McMurray helped protect the skeleton due to the swamp-like conditions. It was this mud, when fossilized, that helped the bones keep their shape and are what ultimately facilitated this historic discovery. Interestingly enough, the process of simply excavating the bones took a long six years, which, and when finally completed, paleontologists quickly noted that the dinosaur looked more like a dragon than a prehistoric creature. This was due to the dino's overall size and scales, as the average notosaur weighed up to 1.4 tons and had a body length of about 5.5 meters, with scales that had a bony protective layer that had a half meter long spikes along it. Yet ironically enough, despite its tough exterior, the notosaur was actually a herbivore, as it used its scales to protect itself from being eaten by other dinosaurs. Number 2. Battle for the Dino In June of 2006, in the U.S. state of Montana, a rancher named Clayton Phipps and his friend Mark Etman found a fossil of two dinosaurs that appeared to be fighting, discovered in an area that is approximately known as Hell's Creek. It's a place that's covered with gray and okra sandstone, shale, and clay that dates back to about 66 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous, when the area was a swampy floodplain. Interestingly enough, this area has now become one of the most storied dinosaur fossil sites in the world. Now, this self-styled dino cowboy uncovered the fossil when his friend Edmund told him that he found what appeared to be a pelvic bone 
breaching the surface. Upon further investigation, the pair realized that their fossil had a rare level of completion, and after further excavating these bones with the help of a few friends and fellow fossil hunters, the pair was able to identify the fossils as being a Triceratops horridus. For those who don't know, the Triceratops was a herbivore, beaked dinosaur that became famous for its crested head and large horns. However, what made this discovery even more interesting is that while digging, Phipps discovered that the herbivore was attached to either a fossilized theropod, similar to a Tyrannosaurus rex, or a Nanotyrannus lancesis, a rare species whose existence is highly disputed. According to a reporter, Philip Pantuso, both dinosaurs were extraordinarily well-preserved, fully articulated with envelopes of skin and possibly mummified internal organs. Unfortunately, these dinosaurs have yet to be fully excavated due to the fact that they're still trapped in their rock matrix. As a result, we all know that these fossils are at an American museum, being carefully extracted and studied. Now, due to all these fossils being found in near complete and perfect condition, the fossil hunters hope to profit from this prehistoric prize. However, unfortunately for them, US law states that landowners are the ones who own the fossils found on their land, and that prospectors need their permissions to dig on the land. As such, due to the pair not actually owning the land they found the fossils on, they had to surrender them to their owners. Yet that didn't stop a legal dispute from arising, as the ranch was actually owned by two partners, the Murrays and the Seversons. Going to court in order to settle the dispute, the judge ended up using the precedent from Sue the T-Rex to award the Seversons with ownership of the bones. As a result, this lucky family was able to earn nearly $9 million for their efforts. Number 1. Tourist Fossils while tourists typically go on vacation to have a good time, a tourist by the name of Erin Levy got more than she bargained for when in July of 2020, she discovered a prehistoric fossil. According to Levy herself, quote, I went down on the beach hoping to go for a nice long walk at low tide looking for fossils, and it caught my eye. It was at the base of the cliff, and it had an actual trackway sticking out of it. I walked over and pulled the rest of it out and thought, this is sort of cool. Finding it just outside of Five Islands Provincial Park in Nova Scotia, she soon brought it to the nearby Joggins Fossil Center, where researchers determined that this specimen was of footprints and their corresponding trackway created 310 million years ago by a prehistoric salamander and millipede-like amphibian known as an arthral pleura. And while the footprints certainly were cool, it, it turns out that the trackways were of higher historical significance as put by Matt Stimson, who's a doctorate student at St. Mary's University and the assistant curator of geology and paleontology with the New Brunswick Museum in St. John. Quote, it gives us a lot of good information on how these animals walked and moved. We can see changes along the pathway from where it was walking straight to a turn. What makes this fossil even more unique is its relatively small size. This is because most fossils found in Joggins are much larger. But Stimson noted that, quote, this is a juvenile, and we don't have many examples of trackways of this size, which make it quite unique. I've been working on studying these types of trackways, these arthropleura footprints from Joggins for a long time. One of the things with Joggins is studies take a long time because fossils slowly erode out of the cliffs, and they have to be found and studied. You can't just go into the site and excavate and dig out all the specimens. When something like this pops up, you get excited. Regardless, we're sure that this rare find definitely made this a trip of a lifetime for Mrs. Levy. That's all we have for you today, everyone, and thank you all for watching. Let us know in the comments down below which fossil you thought was the most interesting. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash the notification button.